I don't know what's going on. Brandon is yelling on Brian. Oh my god, I hope nothing serious. The Suns need the Suns need the number one pick. Number one pick. No, say it right. The Suns need the Suns need the number one pick. The number one pick. Now repeat after me. Markel. Markel. Fultz. Fultz. No, say Fultz. Fultz. Now, the Suns. <laughs> the Suns. Cannot. Cannot. Fall out of the top three. Fall out of the top three. Now do this. And say, please God, don't let the Suns fall out of the top three. Please God, don't let the Suns fall out of the top three. And do it one more time. Please God, don't let the Suns fall to four or five. Please God, don't let the Suns fall to four don't or laugh. five. Don't laugh. Do it right. Don't please laugh. Please God, don't let the Suns fall to four or five. And say, Markel. Markel. Fold. Fold. All right. Well, tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow. You see this. You see this. You see this, you see this, Yes. tomorrow, Tomorrow. 5.30 p.m. Got it. Get out. What the hell, guys? It's literally 4 in the morning, and I keep hearing sounds from Brandon's room. I don't know if I want to go in, because I don't know if he might be, like, touching himself or something. Oh, my God. How would this fucking happen? What? Why are you awake? What are you like doing, Brandon? On. What are you actually doing? Why are you awake? It's like 4 in the morning. Why are you awake? Because, oh, uh, this is the third try and the Suns still aren't getting the number one pick. Brandon. Four? No! What are you doing? It's the NBA Draft Lottery Simulator. Brandon, go to sleep. It's 4 in the morning. Oh, fucking pick. I'm not going to sleep till it shows the Suns get the number one pick. You've never played this game? No. Oh, I don't think it, I don't think anybody does this. Fifth overall pick, Brian. It's a simulator. Watch. Let's see. How many? What? It's my good luck. Don't touch. I'm wearing six jerseys. What the oh fuck God. is wrong with you, Brandon? Get the number one pick. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Number two. Yeah! Number one. Don't forget. It's a one. simulator. It's not real. God. Now it's time for bed. So all these tries, man. NBA draft lottery tomorrow. Go to sleep. Good night. Guys, what the hell? Brandon said he was gonna go to the gym like two hours ago to work out, and I think he's still here. Brandon. Yes, Markel Fultz. What the hell are you Lots doing? Markel Fultz. What? I thought you were supposed to go to the gym. What are you doing? This is my gym. I can't let myself be seen in public before the draft lottery. Markel Fultz. Lonzo Ball. What Tomorrow the hell is, is the wrong day. with you? Tomorrow is the day! Number one pick is coming to us, baby. What, are you gonna work out with me? What? N no, but that's just, I don't know. I, I'm i scared. It's NBA draft lottery, baby. Guys, it's like six in the morning right now. And I think my brother's in my mom's room. What the fuck is he doing? So what, chance at number three? Oh, hey. 55.8% chance. Uh, and what percent uh, chance at number one pick? 20%. Uh -huh. They have a 20% chance at getting the number one pick. Uh -huh. But, mom, they have a 44.2% chance of falling out of the top three. Mom, uh -huh. if they fall out of the top three, I already said my goodbyes to everybody at the gym. You will never see me again. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. So just... Are you serious? Hey, Brian. Brenda, what are you doing? We're just explaining the lottery odds so that she's not confused when the lottery starts. It's so literally right? 6 in the morning. Uh -huh. Here, oh. just in case the suns fall to fourth or fifth. Hey! Sorry, mom. Oh my god, it's only. You were a good mom. A, a very good mom. Mom, just, I want so you to what just. What should I pray for? Pray? Just oh. pray that the Phoenix Suns get the number one pick. I, how about that? Phoenix Sun get the number one pick up Just six. pray. Mom, come on, this isn't a no, joke. Why would you even I'm joke sorry. about that? I'm sorry. Okay, well, you can go back to sleep. I just wanted you to understand this. Oh, okay, I think I did. Okay, today, mom. Later on today, it's almost yeah. time. I'll leave this here so you can study it and be ready. God, please, Thank God. you. Love this one one what is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Brawadis. And as many of you guys requested, you guys were killing me on Twitter and in my YouTube comment section. Brandon. 
please do a draft lottery reaction video. And so what am I bringing you guys today? An NBA draft lottery reaction video. The draft lottery actually starts in about 10 minutes. So I'm so nervous. I'm sweating like crazy ever since I don't know it's been months this has been the day that's been circled on my calendar this is the day that I've been waiting for the Phoenix Suns need some luck look at this one jacket my Phoenix Suns shirt my Marquise Chris jersey my Booker jersey and my basketball jersey if you're wondering why I'm wearing my basketball jersey that's because the draft lottery ends at 6 p.m. and my game starts at 6 15 the place is already like 10 to 15 minutes away. So as soon as the draft lottery ends, I'm gonna have to fly to the game. And you know, all my friends were like, bro, just miss the draft lottery and check it on your phone. You gotta go to the game, that's more important. I looked at them, I said, what? You just told me to miss the NBA draft lottery? You're crazy. So I'm on a super tight schedule right now. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this moment for so long. I've been up all night playing the NBA draft lottery simulator. I've been taking notes to see what chances the Suns are gonna get number one. It's crazy. Today is finally the day that I find out, were all those losses worth it? Was it all worth it? Are they gonna somehow get the number one pick? Are they gonna stay at number two? Or are they gonna get dicked in the draft lottery and fall backwards? The Phoenix Suns have never, ever got the number one pick. Never. Who says it's time for luck to turn around? It is time. The tables need to turn at some point. Something has to change at some point. And the Phoenix Suns, who have never, ever got the number one pick, this year has got to be the year. Please, I'm praying to the basketball gods. I've been talking about this day for so long. Jackie, she wants to kill me. If she ever hears the word draft lottery again, she'll probably kill me. To, just to my parents, to my brother. They don't even care about this stuff, but I've been talking to them about it. I can't wait. I just hope and pray the Phoenix Suns do not fall to fourth or fifth because that would be a disaster. This whole season would be a waste. Oh my god, my heart. Guys, you know this morning I went to the gym and I was about to step on the court to play basketball, but I had to give somebody my spot. I let someone take my spot because I couldn't move properly. I was so nervous that I couldn't even run up and down the court because I was thinking of the draft lottery. My armpits, they are sweating like crazy. I'm just lucky that Jackie shaved my armpit hair because now it's not showing. Why do you guys think there was no video yesterday? I couldn't even film a video because I was so nervous. I was literally shaking all day and I couldn't think of any ideas because I was so nervous about this. So first of all, I apologize for not having a video, but I was a nervous wreck. It was like the day before my wedding and I was a girl. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous, guys. This is what determines like what your whole season was about. This is, it's just a crazy day and I'm not even thinking about my basketball game. My basketball game is in less than an hour, but the draft lottery is the only thing on my mind. I already said goodbye to all my gym friends when I left the gym this morning. I gave them hugs and I bid my farewell because I told them, yo, if the Suns get screwed in the draft lottery again and they fall to fourth or fifth after having the second worst record, I'm never seeing you guys again. I'm never showing my face to the, to the public. If the Phoenix Suns, who have the second best chance at getting the number one pick, if they fall not only to number three, but if they fall to number four, I would, I don't know what I would do. I would fucking, oh, that can't happen. That can't happen. Let's think positive. It cannot happen. Right now, the Phoenix Suns have a 20% chance at getting the number one overall pick. That's going to be Markel Fultz, baby. The Phoenix Suns have a 20% chance. That is the second best chance out of any team in the league. My Phoenix Suns have the second best chance at getting the number one pick. So this is pretty serious. Things could get real. Then the Phoenix Suns have a 55% chance of at least staying in the top three. So they have over a 50% chance of, if not getting number one, then they could stay at number two, or if they don't get number two, they would fall to number three. They have a 55% chance of staying in that window. But then they have a 45% chance of falling to fourth or fifth, and that would be the absolute worst case scenario. No team wants to lose almost 60 games. The Phoenix Suns, they lost 58 games. No, no team wants to lose almost 60 games to draft fourth or fifth. If you're losing almost 60 games, you want to draft number one or number two. At least in the top three, you have Markel Fultz, Lonzo Ball, or Josh Jackson. Okay? Now, for me, I'm hoping and praying that the Phoenix Suns get number one because I'm really high on Markel Fultz. I'm not going to get too much into which players I like and which players I don't like because I'll save that for my NBA channel. But let's just say I really, really need the Suns 
Suns to get number one because I want Markel Fultz. Then if the Suns stay at number two, obviously the Suns have never ever had number one in franchise history. But if they do get number two and then they pick between Lonzo Ball or Josh Jackson, that's fine with me. I wouldn't be too upset. If they fall to number three, I would be a little upset only because we have the second worst record. So deservingly so, we should get number one or two. But if we do fall to number three, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We would probably take Josh Jackson. But if we fall to number four or five after this horrid season, no, that that's that that can't be an option. That that let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about falling to fourth or fifth because for those who don't know, if you're new to this channel or if you don't really know me, I take this stuff very very seriously. And if the Phoenix Suns fall to number four or five, uh, let's just say I don't want to show you guys the side of me that would come with the Phoenix Suns falling fourth or fifth. I don't want you guys to see that side of me. Draft lottery starts in about five minutes. Bro, my legs are shaking. My legs are, it's over, it's done. My body's gonna shut down. If the Phoenix Suns get the number one pick, I do not even know what I'm going to be doing, but enough draft lottery simulator, enough bothering people about the NBA draft lottery because guess what? The day and time is finally here, Phoenix Suns. Let's get this number one pick, baby. This is the year for the Phoenix Suns getting the number one pick, bringing Markel Fultz to Phoenix. Oh, and also the Phoenix Suns are one of the only teams in league history that have never won a championship and also have never got the number one pick. So some teams get the number one pick but never win a championship. Some teams win championships but never get the number one pick. The Phoenix Suns are one of the only teams to never have a championship and never hit the number one pick. Let's turn the luck around. It's time for some luck in Phoenix. It's time to get Devin Booker some help and it comes with picking number one, baby. Let's do it, Phoenix. Let's do this and I can't wait. Just don't fall to four or five. Oh my god, 5.30, it just started. Oh yeah guys, let me explain this really quick, which is probably the biggest storyline of the NBA draft lottery. For those who don't know, the Los Angeles Lakers will have to give up their first round pick if it doesn't fall into the top three. So if the Lakers pick number one, two, or three, they keep their pick. But if the LA Lakers pick ends up four, or five, or six, then they're gonna have to give that pick to the Philadelphia 76ers. So this might be one of the best days in Philadelphia 76ers history. If they end up having their pick plus the Lakers pick, then that would be crazy for them. And this could potentially be a disaster for the Lakers if they end up having to give their pick away. In my opinion, I don't think there's any way the league lets the Lakers lose their pick. I just don't think that the NBA is going to let the Los Angeles Lakers lose their pick. It's just... The league heavily relies on the LA Lakers being a good team. I'm not saying any conspiracies. I'm not saying that it's rigged. Well, or maybe I am. But I just don't think there's any way the Lakers lose their pick. So Laker fans, they're very nervous right now. But I myself don't think they're going to lose their pick. But we'll see what happens. Guys, uh, I'm literally sweating like crazy. This is supposed to be one of the best drafts in NBA history. Scouts and general manager. Oh, there's Markel Fultz, the dude I was talking about. I love his game. But yes, yeah, scouts and general managers have been talking about this draft for years and years and years. And here we are. The day is finally here. And please God, let the Suns get the number one pick. They're going to make the selection soon. Really quick before they make the selections, let's just get into what Boston has going on. So for those who don't know, Boston actually owns Brooklyn's first round pick. The Boston Celtics are still playing. They're still alive and they're in the Eastern Conference Finals, but they may very well end up with the number one pick. That would be insane. If a team that's still alive in the Eastern Conference Finals also gets to pick number one in the NBA draft, that would just be, it would be nuts. It would be crazy. Suns, please. Please, Suns, we have so much bad luck. Our luck has been so bad as a Phoenix Suns franchise. Look no further than zero championships. We have zero rings. Please let this be the day that the Suns get the number one pick and try to turn this franchise around. Okay, guys, my heart started beating too fast, so I just went and got some water. This is honestly one of the scariest days of my life. This is one of the most important days Oh my god, ever since I've been alive, the Phoenix Suns have never had this big of a chance at getting the number one pick. So every year when I watch the draft lottery, yeah, I have my hopes a little bit up, but at the end of the day, I know the Suns aren't getting number one because they just don't have that good of a chance. This year, they have the second best chance in the whole league. So this year is actually different. They actually have a chance and it's so, like, this is one of the most important days in Phoenix Suns history. This today might be the most important day for the Phoenix Suns franchise over the past 10 years and 
I just, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm just really nervous right now. And ah, I need to shake it off because I have a basketball game soon and I cannot be playing like this. God, can you just make the picks already? I can't wait. If you guys know me, you guys know how much basketball means to me. You guys know how much the Phoenix Suns mean to me if you can't tell. Please, God, please, just one time give us a high pick. I just want the number one pick one time. This means so much to me. I'm begging you, NBA basketball gods, please. Ooh, let's do the draft lottery simulator one more time. Let's see. The draft lottery simulator that I do right now, this will be how the draft lottery ends up, okay? So you got Boston Phoenix Lakers top three. Let's see. Simulate. This is how it's going to really end up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Suns moved down to number five. <laughs> no, no. Okay, fine. That was a joke. Obviously, I was just joking. This is how it's really going to end up. Yes! Fuck yes. Please. I'm begging. Look, even Laker fans are happy. They get to stay at number two. Come on, Phoenix. I'm dying. My basketball game is in literally 20 minutes. <laughs> Look at this, guys. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm so scared. I don't know which other expression to do if it falls out of the top three. That would suck for a Laker fan, but I don't think it's going to happen. Look, Phoenix Suns, almost 20% chance for a number one pick. D-Book! My guy! And he took Noah with him right there. Shout out to Noah, Mr. 70. Come on, bro. You guys are playing in the damn Eastern Conference Finals. You really need the number one pick? Come on. Think about the other franchises. Oh, my God. There are the envelopes. Those are the envelopes that are going to have such a huge impact on my life. Just think about it. Those little pieces of paper are going to have such a huge impact on my life. Please. Oh my gosh, Brian and my dad and my mom, they already all left to the game. I'm the only one home right now. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come on, Phoenix. Come on, Suns. <sighs> oh my God, as the time's getting closer and closer, I don't know what kind of feelings these are. I've never felt these feelings, these type of emotion. <sighs> Guys, what's crazy, right now it's 5.49 p.m. So right now we have no idea who's picking where, but in about 10 minutes, like we're gonna know like fuck. I'm just I don't know that sounded really weird and probably I really sound stupid right now But sorry, I just can't think straight. I can't speak. Ah! Oh My god <sighs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I am not ready for this shit. I Am not ready for this moment in my life <sighs> Come on Okay, come on. Just get it started guys. I gotta go to the game. Oh my gosh. Just please don't fall to fourth or fifth. Please don't fall to fourth or fifth. It's starting, guys. It's starting. It is starting. This is so nerve wracking, guys. I can't even. Shush, shush. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. The Miami Heat. Okay, so that's. Okay, that's two. Ah! Sorry, I just had to let that out. Jesus Christ. Okay, so so far everything is shaping out to form. So far everything is going as planned. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, guys. Ah! So Sacramento... Fuck, man. Fuck. Fuck. So Sacramento moved up into the top three. So that means either the Suns, Lakers, or Celtics move down. Please don't let it be the Suns. Please don't let it be the Suns who move down. I'm sick and tired of getting screwed every year. I'm sick and tired of getting screwed every year. Oh, no. Here's the fifth pick. Please not the fourth pick to the Suns. Please not the fourth pick to the Suns. Please not the fourth pick to the Suns. Please God no. Please God no. Please no, Phoenix. No. 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 Fuck! No! No! Bro, what the f***, man, f***. 
This shit always happens. What the f bro? What the hell, man? Of course, it had to. Bro, fuck it. I'm done. Bro, not one spot. We didn't move down one spot. We moved down two spots. Fuck this shit, bro. I don't even care who gets the top three. I don't even care. I'm not watching this shit anymore. This is pathetic. Every single fucking year. Every year this shit happens. Every fucking year. Oh, we didn't move up to number one. God forbid we move up. No way. No, we didn't stay at number two. We didn't move down one spot to number three. We moved down two spots to number four. Fuck this shit, bro. Fucking rigged ass NBA. Rigged ass league. It's faker than WWE. I'm over this shit. Guys, all my teammates keep asking me how I feel. Like that the Suns dropped in the lottery, but... I don't, I'm not a basketball fan anymore. Like, I don't watch basketball. <laughs> I'm done watching basketball. Oh! I, feel, I actually feel... Yeah, yeah I'm done. I'm not, oh, I, I'm not an NBA fan anymore, so... What does that say? I don't care. <laughs> no. They keep asking me, oh, how do you feel? I feel so bad. I'm like, it's okay. I, I remember the good old days when I used to be an NBA fan. I'm not a, I'm not a basketball fan anymore. <laughs> Fuck that. There's only so much... Wait, okay, so people like me, what happened? Anthony, yeah, shut up. Because I don't know what happened. It's like when you're in a relationship and you get cheated on a million times, there's only so much you could take. Same with the NBA. That It's so much stress. There's only so much. So uh, all my teammates, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm not a basketball fan anymore. I remember the old days when I used to be a basketball fan. That was the good old days. But now hey. I'm done. Two hours ago, the good old days. Why did it happen before the game? Yo guys, so I just got home. Look, I'm parked in my garage. And I was about to go upstairs, shower, and you know, just hang out at the house after the game. But I just thought about it. I just remembered the whole draft lottery. And honestly, like, I can't be home because I'm just going to keep thinking about the draft lottery. So to get my mind off things, I'm going to back out and go to the gym and keep playing some more basketball, man. Fuck, the whole draft lottery pissed me off so bad. So instead of coming home, taking a shower and going to sleep, I'm just going <laughs> to back out of my garage drive over to the gym and just keep playing and playing and playing all the way till my body can't take it anymore so that i don't think about the draft lottery so yeah thank you nba thank you so much okay guys so it's been a whole day since the nba draft lottery has ended i've had 24 hours to kind of calm down kind of just just relax and I just want to close this video out by clarifying why I was so upset because a lot of people if you follow me on Twitter I was tweeting and tweeting. I was pissed. I was upset just like you guys saw in the video when the Suns ended up with the fourth pick I was pissed and rightfully so all my other Suns fan friends. They were pissed too It's not the fact that we can't get a good player at number four. That's not what I'm saying So all those people who are tweeting me. Oh, bro At least you still have the fourth pick you could still get a good player I understand that that was not why I was upset the reason I was upset is just because it's built-in anger Every single year, every single year, every single year, we get screwed and screwed year in and year out, year in and year out. I understand if we get screwed like five years straight and then one year is good. And then we get screwed another five years and then one year is good. But we've just been getting screwed over and screwed over in the draft lottery every single year. So I understand that we could still get a good player at number four. But when you have the second best chance at the number one pick... You're not expecting number four. You're expecting number one. You're expecting number two or maybe number three. So all of the anger when I saw that we're picking number four is not due to the fact that, damn it, we're going to get a sucky player at number four. It's not that. It's just the fact that it's just all built-in anger of the Suns getting screwed over every single year. And I've just had enough of it. I've had enough to everybody wondering where the basketball video is. That's going to be uploaded tomorrow. I just feel like it made more sense to upload the draft lottery reaction right after the draft lottery happened. Man, what did, I mean, what did you expect? What did you think? I just knew something was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew the Suns were going to fall to fourth. I knew it. It was written all over the wall. It was written on the wall that Lonzo was going to go to the Lakers. It was written on the wall that Boston was going to get the number one pick so that they could make a trade and get Jimmy Butler or get Paul George. Everything was just written on the wall for the Suns to get screwed, but I thought maybe, maybe, maybe the Phoenix Suns can maybe jump up this year. Like I said, we get screwed over every single year, every single year. Maybe I thought this would be the year, but nope, I was wrong. It's just, you want you guys want to know the last time the Phoenix Suns moved up in the NBA draft lottery? 1987. 1987. I wasn't even born yet. That's 30 years ago. That was the last time the Phoenix Suns moved up. Now that explains why I was so mad.
30 damn years. For 30 damn years, we've either moved down in the draft lottery or stayed the same. 30 years. Guess who was the only team in the draft lottery to drop two spots? Just guess. There was only one team who dropped not one, but two spots in the draft lottery. The Phoenix Suns, of course, because of course that was going to happen. I knew it. Right when the dude said, and picking number four in the NBA draft, before he even lifted the envelope, I knew it wasn't going to be the Lakers. I knew it wasn't going to be Boston. I knew it was going to be the Phoenix Suns because obviously... That's just what fucking happens. Anyways, guys, now that I've kind of calmed down, yeah, it sucks that we didn't get top two. Hell, it sucks that we didn't get top three. But getting top four is still decent, I guess. And there's obviously a lot of conspiracy theories about how the NBA draft lottery is rigged. I'm not going to get too far into that, but let me just say that I do believe it's a little fixed. And I've said this years and years in the past. So you can't say, oh, just because the Suns got screwed over, he's saying it's rigged. No, I've said it's rigged way before. You could look through my Twitter from two or three years ago and you could see that I said it was rigged. It's just, this is what doesn't make sense to me. They have the machine that picks the ping pong balls, right? It's right there in the back of the building. Why don't they show it on live TV? Why don't they show it on camera? You're telling me that it's 2017 and there's not enough technology in the world or there's not enough cameras on earth so that you can't record the damn ping pong balls being selected? And don't hit me with that bullshit where, oh, here's the video. Here, the video came out. Yes, I understand they come out with a video like a couple of hours later. I'm saying, why don't they show it live? Why don't they show it live on TV? Why not? Why? I, that's all I'm asking. Is there not enough cameras on earth? Because yes, there's a video that comes out a couple of hours after the draft lottery, but how easy is it to fake a fucking video that comes out later? Why don't they show it live? That's my biggest thing. It's 2017. There's no excuses for why the ping pong balls aren't picked live. It just makes no sense. So I'm not going to get too far into conspiracy theories or how it's rigged, but let's just say Boston and LA, two of the biggest markets in the NBA, ended up with the first and second pick, and the ping pong balls weren't selected on camera. That's all I'm gonna say. And again, don't hit me with that video that comes out hours after the draft lottery because I wanna see it live. I don't wanna see some video that they fix up in the back after the lottery's over. I don't wanna see that shit. So, oh, and by the way, the little rant I went on about how I'm done with basketball and I hate basketball and I'm never, never gonna watch basketball again, uh, I think that was just in the heat of the moment because I was just at the gym this morning playing basketball for a couple hours and I also fell asleep last night reading a ton of articles about the NBA draft lottery. So I think I was just in the heat of the moment. The whole day I was just hoping and hoping and hoping we didn't fall to fourth or fifth and what happens? We fell to fourth. I never wanted to show you guys that side of me, but hey, this is my life. I love the Phoenix Suns. I love watching basketball. I love the NBA and when something like this happens to me, I just get really, really upset. I get really, really pissed off. There's going to be a lot of people in the comment section saying, bro, who cares? It's just basketball. You take it way too seriously. You shouldn't have broke your remote, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't have been that mad. That's, that's you guys. I'm very passionate about the sport of basketball, and I'm very passionate about my favorite basketball team. I love the Phoenix Suns, and the Phoenix Suns can make me very, 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 very happy, and they could also make me very, very, very upset. So to everybody who's going to comment, you know, bro, you're taking this way too seriously. Who cares? It's just the draft lottery. You guys don't understand the passion somebody could have about a sport. So yes, I was mad. Yes, I was upset. Yes, I was angry. But I just love this team, and I always want the best for the team, and things just don't go our way. We're cursed. And I was talking to a bunch of Suns fans last night. They all think the same. They were all just as pissed as me. Anyways, we'll see what we could do with the fourth overall pick. If you guys want to see more in-depth videos about the draft leading up to draft day, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to my NBA channel. The link is going to be in the description down below to my NBA channel. I'm going to just get fully in-depth. I don't want to do that on my main channel, but that's going to be on my NBA channel when we get closer to draft day. Anyways, I apologize if... You guys saw a whole new side of me that you didn't know exists. One last time, I'm just very passionate about the sport of basketball. And I'm very passionate about the Phoenix Suns. Actually, that was me trying to be calm. That was me calm down because it's been much worse. So, uh, yeah, for those who didn't know me before today, this is me. I'm Brandon Awadis, and I'm an extremely crazy, psycho, diehard Phoenix Suns fan. Basketball is my life. So yes, I do take this stuff very seriously. And do I care? No, I don't care. This is my life. I love basketball. Sadly, 
it didn't work out in my favor, but thank you guys for watching this video, Brawad Squad. I love you guys all. And remember, you'll be getting our basketball game video tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. So I appreciate everybody tweeting me saying, bro, you could still get a good player at number four. I understand that. That wasn't where my anger was coming from. 